Kira, we have a crisis. We I do. think it's fair to say, uh, not just in rental accommodation, we have a crisis in housing. It looks like we're heading towards 10,000 people without a roof over their heads. Many parents today, their kids getting their CAO offers, yes, they've gone off to college, will be thinking, you know, how am I going to find 10 grand? And even if I find the 10 grand to pay for their rent, will I be able to find a place for them to actually live at the moment? Look, <clears throat> this is an issue of supply and demand. We simply don't have the supply to meet the need for accommodation. We don't have it in the rental market and we don't have it in the, in the buying market either. And it is a difficult one to fix. And I know, you know, you can say the housing minister should do this and the housing minister should do that. But the housing minister trying to fix the housing market is a little bit like the Minister for Employment trying to provide employment. Its jobs are provided by private companies largely apart from the semi-state. And it's the same thing. It isn't the, it isn't the government who are going to be, you know, supplying the vast majority Majority of accommodation either. No, but either. They, they can create the conditions. And my problem with this... But that's all they can do, Shane. They can, they can incentivise yeah, they can carrots and sticks. They can do a lot. And my problem with this government and the government that's been there since 2011, firstly, they were way, way, way too slow to react to this. This has been coming for a number of years. They took their eye off the ball. Um, there has been a number of plans over the last few years. The difficulty is we've had as many housing ministers as we've had plans. We've had three different ministers in the past I don't think the, the solution months. for this is going to be in politics to be honest. Oh, sorry, Kira. The solution, of course, is in politics. No. It has to be in politics. No, no, no. And you can just, let, uh, just let me make the point. You have to have a minister that knows what he's doing. We've had three different ministers in 18 months. Each of them are coming in as basically property versions. They don't understand the market. They na- then have to but learn the market. you just named it there. The market is what is going to have to yeah, sort this out. And I'm not saying that as some kind of mad capitalist, but, but, but it isn't that government isn't going to be able... The government should be building social housing. That, but that, sorry, that, the market that's isn't doing it, Kira. We have huge Some tracts of land. Some of why land. the market isn't doing it is because the market has been skewed. For example, when I was a student, we lived, I, and I lived myself, I lived in a bed sit for a period of time and I lived in a house share for a period of time. That's what students did. We brought in a, a rake of standards that took out of the market cheap accommodation because we had an idea that we were going to provide fancy accommodation for all and now we can't provide accommodation okay. to people on unlimited means. The answer, we have to allow the answer to our housing crisis is not to go back to the slums of the 1980s. I didn't live in a slum, Shane. I lived in well, a I house did. share. I lived in a few uh, in my time well, as a student. Well, and, 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 and that's, I don't think at that's least the you answer. had somewhere to live. And, and is that co- not better than homelessness? I, uh, sorry, I don't think the answer to this is to say give, them, give, them, give people anything and that, that's fine. And to say the answer to this doesn't lie in the government. I just think is a, is a misunderstanding of where we have been where we have gone wrong in terms of property in the last 100 years in this country. We have to change our traditional attitudes to property.